हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर सच मोर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्यूशंस नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम अगेन वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू लोकेट द सेंट्रॉइड ऑफ दिस गिवन शेडेड एरिया सो टू लोकेट द सेंट्रॉइड ऑफ दिस गिवन शेडेड एरिया अगेन वी विल अप्लाई द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मोमेंट्स इक्वेशन राइट सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द एक्स बार एंड y bar coordinates of the centroid right so for x bar we we, we normally write that x bar into a this is equal to x c d a so this is the principle of moment equation for x bar so now to apply this equation again we have to select differential area so let's say that uh, somewhere here is my differential area let's say this is my differential area and its width is dy this is the width of this differential area this is dy and its length is x right so we can say that uh, the length of this differential area is x this length is x and the centroid of this differential area will be located at the geomet uh, at its geometric center right so somewhere here will be the centroid of this differential area so now what is xc so xc is the distance of the centroid of the differential area from the y axis right so this is the this is xc right this is xc so from this we can say that xc will be half of this x right half of the length of this uh, differential area so xc will be x divided by 2 right so now we can write that x into area and this is xc is x divided by 2 into da but before going to apply this equation further we have to find this uh, total area right so uh, as we know that da is equal to uh, this length times the width right so we will write that this is x dy so in order to find the total area we have to integrate this we have to add up all the areas of the differential elements from minus 3 to plus 3 as we move along the y axis is right so we need to write we need to integrate this right and we are given this y as a function of x right so again we can write x uh, from from this equation we can write that y is equal to x square divided by 4 minus 4 so from this we can write that x square divided by 4 this is equal to y plus 4 and from this we can write that x square is equal to 4 into y plus 4 and if we take square root so then this will be x and this will be 2 so this is x right so now here we will write that this is we will write that this is 2 y plus 4 and square root is the 1 divided by 2 power right so we can write this x as 2 into y plus 4 to the power 1 divided by 2 right so this is that x into dy so we have to integrate this and we have to integrate this from minus 3 to plus 3 right so this is minus 3 to plus 3 so these are the boundary values of the y coordinate of this given shaded area So now when we integrate this so this will be 2 and this will be <coughs> y plus 4 and 1 divided by 2 plus 1 so this will be 3 divided by 2 and we will divide this by 3 divided by 2 so we can write this 3 divided by 2 as 2 divided by 3 so this will be 4 divided by 3 this will be here we have that 2 and 3 divided by 2 can be written as 2 divided by 3 so this will be 4 2 into 2 so this will be 4 divided by 3 and this is from minus 3 to plus 3 so now we can write this as 4 divided by 3 into this thing and if we put these limits so this will be 4 divided by 3 so we have to write plus 3 in place of y right so this will be 3 plus 4 3 divided by 2 minus Minus three plus four into three divided by two, and this is seven. Three plus four is seven. Right, so this is seven to the power three divided by two, and this is plus one. 
So, when we solve this using calculator, so this is 4 divided by 3. Uh, so, this whole term gives us 23.36, right? So, this is 23.36. This is area, right? So, now we know the the total area for this shaded portion, right? So, we can write that the area is 23.36, right? Now, we can apply this equation, right? So, now I can write that x bar area and this is x divided by 2 and again we know that dA is dA is x dy, right? So, I will write that this is x dy. So, this will become x square and we can write 1 divided by 2 outside of the integration, right? So, this will be 1 divided by 2 x square dy, right? And now, we we have this thing, right? So, this is from this we can write that x square is from this equation we can write that x square is y plus 4 into 4, right? This is x square. So, now we have to replace x square as a function of y, right? So, this is that x square which is 4 into y plus 4 dy and this is 1 divided by 2 and again the integration is with respect to y so we have to integrate this from minus 3 to plus 3 right so now we can write this 4 outside of the integration as well so this is 2 we are left with 2 and when we integrate this so this will be y square divided by 2 plus 4y and this is from minus 3 to plus 3 so, now if we apply these limits, so this will be 2, 3 square divided by 2 plus 4 into 3 minus minus 3 square divided by 2 plus 4 into minus 3. So, this will give us 48, right? So, this whole thing will give us 48 and this is equal to x into a. So, x is equal to 48 divided by area and area is 23.36, right? This is 23.36. So, when we divide this, so x bar coordinate of the centroid of this shaded area is equal to 2.05 units. Now, to find the y bar coordinate of the centroid, again I will write the principle of moment equation for y bar. So, y bar into area and this will be integration and y c d a and again d a is x into d y, right? So, I will write that this is x into d y. And yc is the distance of the centroid of the differential element from the x-axis, right? So, this distance is yc, right? So, this is yc and we can say that yc, since the differential element is located at a distance of y from the x-axis, so we can say that yc is equal to y, right? So, now here we can write that yc is y and again we will replace uh, this x as a function of y since the integration is with respect to y, right? So, so now we can write this x as a function of y. So, this is y and this is that x, right? So, we can write that this is 2 into y plus 4, 1 divided by 2 dy and we can write this 2 outside of the integration. So, first we need to solve this integration, right? And this integration is from minus 3 to 3, remember. So, to solve this integration, we will solve this integration by using the substitution method. So, I will write that u is equal to y plus 4 to the power 1 divided by 2. This is our substitution, right? So, now from this, we can write that this u square will be equal to y plus 4. 4 and if we take the derivative of this, so this will be 2u du dy. So, now uh, we will replace, we will write this integration in terms of u, right? So, this is y and this is u, this whole thing is u now, right? So, we can write that this is u. 
and dy is 2u du right so i will write that 2u du right and from this equation we can write that y, uh, y is equal to u square minus 4 right so here i have to write uh, instead of y we have to write u square minus 4 right so this is u square minus 4 and now since the integration is with respect to u so we have to replace these limits right since these limits were for y right so now since uh, we have this equation or we have this equation right? so if i use this equation right so if y is minus 3 then u square is equal to minus 3 plus 4 so this is plus 1 and and if we take the square root so then this means that u is equal to 1 so when y is equal to minus 3 u is equal to 1 right so i have to write that here we have to in the first boundary value for this integration with respect to u is 1 and now when y is equal to 3 plus 3 again we will use this equation so this is u square so this is 3 plus 4 so this will be 7 so this will be 7 square root so when y is equal to plus 3 u is square root 7 so we will write it like this so now the limits are from 1 to square root 7 so again we can write this 2 outside of the integration so this will become 4 So, this will be 4 from 1 to square root 7 and this will become y square, uh, sorry u square and if we multiply this with, so this will be u to the power 4 minus 4 u square du. So, now we need to integrate this. So, this is 4 and when we integrate this, so this is u to the power 5 divided by 5 minus 4. 4u to the power 3 divided by 3 and the integration is from 1 to square root 7. So now if we put these limits so this will be 4 square root 7 to the power 5 divided by 5 minus 4 minus 1 to the power 5 divided by 5 minus 4 into 1 to the power 3 divided by 3. So, when we solve this, so this term equals to 1.23 minus and this term equals to minus 1.13. And when we simplify this, so this is 9.44, right? So this means that y bar into area, we can write that this is y bar into area equals to 9.44. And we know that area is 23.36, this is that area, right? So we can write that y bar equals to 9.44 divided by 23.36. So, this gives us y bar equals to 0 0.404 units, right? So, this is the uh, x bar coordinate of the centroid of this shaded area and this is the y bar coordinate of the centroid of this shaded area. So, I hope you people would have understood this solution. Kindly like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems.